Good evening, everyone. I'm Charlie Lapastora. Mississippi State is balling right now, ranked fourth in the USA Today coaches poll. They look to continue winning against Missouri on Sunday. It'll be the start of a two-game home stretch. We've got a Missouri team coming in that's hot. They've won five in a row, I think, and uh, playing really well. Um, they've had all week to get ready for us and uh, didn't play last night, so uh, Robin is a good coach, got a great staff, and they'll do a good job getting ready for us. And uh, they always play us very smart. Uh, they do a great job in scouting, and uh, so we're going to have to we're going to have to step up and and uh, make some plays on offense. And then we've got to do a good job guarding them. They average eight threes made a game. The men's hoops team, on the other hand, thirteen and eight. And they're on a two-game losing streak. They'll hope to turn that all around at home against Tennessee this weekend. It's a team they beat in Knoxville just a few weeks ago. They're really good. Uh, we played them tough. You know, the first half we had a couple missed layups that uh, actually would have given us the lead if we just made a couple layups. We were down three at halftime. Uh, but, you know, they've been playing uh, spectacularly uh, from that game uh, forward uh, in terms of four wins in a row, you know, beat Kentucky at home, beat Kansas State. Well, Houston is the place to be today and throughout the weekend. It's almost Super Bowl time, and fans from all over are in the city today taking in the sights with the NFL Experience. It's a family-friendly event. The experience allows fans to toss around a football, get a picture with a Lombardi trophy, and it even has a virtual reality experience. It's open through Super Bowl Sunday. And fans also had the opportunity to ask questions to NFL commish Roger Goodell, right there, along with this year's finalists in the Walter Payton Man of the Year Awards, Eli Manning, Larry Fitzgerald, and Greg Olson. Well, and, and, and get a pulse of the community so you can understand you know, what people in your city need. You know, there's, there's a lot of people that are in need, and it's important for you to go out there and be actively engaged in all of that. Um, you know, so we might have our own charities, but there's other things that we are heavily involved in just because of the right thing to do. And Matt having to talk about it, so uh, uh, so I, I didn't give him you know no no uh, advice on how to beat the Patriots. Just said you know good luck, keep keep doing what you're doing. You've had a great season, just keep keep it going, and uh, you know keep throwing it to Julio. That was that was kind of yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 so that would be my advice to Matt: throw it to Julio. It was a career Thursday night for San Jose Shark center Patrick Marlowe as he scored his 500th career goal. It puts him with only 44 other NHL players ever to hit that 500 mark. The three-point shooters were announced for the classic NBA All-Star three-point contest. It'll be defending champ Clay Thompson along with 2013 champ Kyrie Irving, Kyle Lowry, Kemba Walker, Eric Gordon, Wesley Matthews, CJ McCollum, and Nick Young. And the participants for the dunk contest will be the Pacers Glenn Robinson, Suns Derek Jones Jr., Clippers DeAndre Jordan, and the Magic's Aaron Gordon, double zero right there, Gordon's dunks, with the talk of last year's All-Star Weekend, finishing as a runner-up, the contest will be on February 18th. Should be a fun one to watch, guys. Thank yeah, you. I love watching that every year. Yeah. Matthews, early favorite. Boy, and I tell you, Clay Thompson is a lot better than his dad was. <laughs> Clay can shoot lights out. 